Fun fact, Western Avenue is the longest street in Chicago. It's home to a variety of restaurants, bars, galleries, and shops. And it will also be home to the best Western block party. It's the first of its kind, and here to tell us all about it is Ursula Syker and Bruce Finkelman. How are you? Thanks for having us. Yeah, for I got your guys. name right, right? So that's got to make you nailed good. Got it. Okay. Now we, now we can go. Phew. Yeah. That was over with. So uh, I was asking you, how long have you guys been planning this party? I think I must have reached out to Bruce about it in I want to say May or yeah. something around there. Um, I had been planning to open indoor dining for my restaurant because it's a newer restaurant and I want to do a grand opening and as it so happens it is lining up but we decided to celebrate all the businesses and what we do. Yeah and you know the, the empty bottle one of my businesses has been there for over 30 years yeah. so you know to see businesses coming in and to see you know that the great neighborhood that we've been blessed to be part of for so long to be able to celebrate that and to be able to celebrate the businesses that are there it seemed like a real Really perfect time to do it, especially after the last 18 months. Right. right? So we talked about being the longest street in Chicago. You're not having restaurants from the entire street in the block party, are you? No, that okay. would be a be very crazy. difficult commute for people. <laughs> yeah. 26 miles. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a how lot. long the street is. So yeah. how many businesses and shops involved? Well, there's a number of businesses that'll be all uh, providing wares throughout the day, but there's probably about 50 restaurants oh. up and down the up and down the, the the corridor that'll be participating in one way or another. That's okay, awesome. so give us the East West Street cutoff. So let's say Grand Avenue okay. to Fullerton. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That's mm -hmm. a that's a long enough stretch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, that's a, Next time we'll try to do like a 10K or something like that. <laughs> just, you know, yes, they'll feed right. you food as you On go the, through. Oh, it, right. And, and cocktails too. Right. Okay, and Ursula. cocktails. Yeah. Ursula, Bruce mentioned his business, but you didn't. It's yours. Oh, I own Jeff and Jude's Deli. Um, we're across the street from the Empty Bottle, uh, and it was a really big thing for me to want to kind of like celebrate the neighborhood that's let me become a part of it this past year. We are a pandemic restaurant, so it's really great to actually be able to sort of celebrate us becoming more legit with indoor dining as well as all the other neighboring folks around us that have been such welcoming neighbors and the community that shows up every day through all yeah. the weird versions of the <laughs> restaurant we've had. Yeah. And we don't expect people to walk all the way up to Fullerton, so we did have people like Takaria Chingon as well as Chef Special setting up on the actual block party itself to really kind of like bring different parts of Western together for people to really enjoy their food. So how is it going to work? Are you guys actually blocking off the street? Did you get from the city? Yeah. Okay. So we're blocking off Cortez Street, which is uh, at Western Avenue, mm -hmm. which is right next to the Empty Bottle and Pizza Friendly Pizza, which is at 1035 Northwestern. We usually do a block party out there called Music, Fr Music Frozen Dancing in February, <laughs> where we get a bunch of bands out there and people to dress up. But this will be a lot better weather, as we just saw. All right, yeah. so what else is going on besides featuring the restaurants? We'll have bands playing. We have a band called uh, Riley Walker. We have the fabulous Hoyle Brothers and many more. We'll have vendors who will be uh, putting out their wares both inside and outside oh, the facility and we have handmade market there and of course what uh, uh, festival would be complete if we didn't have a dunk take which we'd love to invite <laughs> you there uh, all the proceeds go to charity we have a wonderful charity we're working with yeah, that's right. We're going to be working with people over profit. So we're collecting donations at the door as well as they'll have a booth inside. They are located on Division in Humboldt Park. And it is a community center that has completely free amenities and food for anybody that's in need. And it's all donation based. So we're happy to help them with the overhead. Yeah. But they'll also have a bin there present for anybody that wants to bring a donation to directly contribute back to the community that we're celebrating. What a wonderful thing. It's a time when people really kind of need this. Yeah. yeah. And we yeah. haven't had a lot of the festivals, some, but not a lot, right? Right, and it's not only about celebrating this great community that we're part of, but it's about resilience, mm -hmm. you know, and it's coming out of that 18 months and people still around and come out and meet the neighbors and come out and meet the businesses that are part of the neighborhood. Let's hear from some actual owners yourself. How are things going as far as, you know, recovering from the pandemic? Well, we actually um, weren't open before, so we got to pivot ahead of the game, which was really helpful, but I'm really happy to say we're opening our indoor dining for the first time this weekend. Yay. My parents are coming in town just for it. They've never been to the restaurant. It's named after them. So very excited about that. But um, I definitely feel like we're starting to see things feel, if not more normal, the new normal yeah. and whatever mm -hmm. version yeah. that is. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks. Bruce and Ursula, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank thanks you. for being here, guys. Yeah, Best of luck. Us. Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, yeah. we'll see you in the dunk tank. We'll see Tanya in the dunk tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I ain't> <laughs>